Hi, welcome to another video. So, I recently told you guys about how you can use the new Claude Computer Use API through the Quick Start Guide and the Docker instance that they provided. It was pretty good because it allowed us to use it in a sandbox environment that could give you a good way to use it. But there's an issue with this approach. And the issue is that the sandbox won't always have applications you want to use. The demo that Anthropic shared is quite different from what they showed, where it works on a Mac or Windows as well. In the demo, they showed an interface they were using, which isn't even available yet, and they gave us just a simple streamlit chat interface. But, as with anything, some open source projects are here that can now let you use the Computer Use API on your own computer. So, there are two projects that we'll be talking about. First of all, there's a new project called Agent EXE that basically replicates the same interface that Anthropic showed in their demo and allows you to use it directly on your terminal and use it. The name is a little weird, which may lead you to think that it only works on Windows. But that's not true. This is just an Electron app. So, you can use it on any OS you'd want. I'll tell you how to do that. So, this is cool. But, we have another one. And this is the project that has existed for quite a while now. I covered it some time ago, but now it has new computer use API support, and it's Open Interpreter, specifically the OS mode. I did a video on the OS mode some time ago. You can go ahead and check it out. It used to work really well, and it actually used the same formula that Anthropic uses, which is to take a screenshot of the whole screen and then feed it to the LLM and then use it. But now, it can use the new Anthropic Computer Use API. So, I'll tell you how you can set it up with that and use it for maybe some repetitive tasks that you may have. Let's get started with Agent EXE first, and then we'll check out Open Interpreter as well. First, get this repo cloned on your computer. Once it's cloned, just get inside the folder. Now, run the npm install command, which will get the dependencies installed. Once that's done, just rename the nv example file to env and open it up. Now, just enter your Anthropic API key here. And once you do that, just get back to the terminal and run the npm start command. But before you do that, make sure you install Firefox to get the best results. Although it is not absolutely required, generally Claude likes to use the Firefox browser. It is also mentioned by the developer. So, get that installed for optimum results. Anyway, once you do that, it will get started. Now, you can just start using it. You'll see this box here where you can send anything and ask it to do. So, I'll just be doing a simple demo of it because I don't want to do anything too much. It's just a demo that I want to give on how you can use it. Anyway, let's just send a simple prompt and ask it to go to Google and search for AI Code King. Okay, it's doing that. Let's wait a bit.
and it's done now. So, you can see that it did this pretty well, which is just amazing. You can use it quite easily and let Claude control your computer and delete all your data, which is pretty cool. The best part about it, in my opinion, is that it can start from anywhere. So, if you are doing some stuff in Excel or Google Sheets and want to do some data entry real quick while you're grabbing lunch, it can do that, which is amazing for sure. That's cool, for sure. But this is not the only way to use it, because as I said, Open Interpreter has also added a new OS mode to work with Anthropic's new API. So, to use it with Open Interpreter, you'll just need to install Open Interpreter with the PFP install Open Interpreter command. Now, the general OS mode, which allows you to use it with GPT models, can be used with the simple OS flag with one dash. But there's a new mode that allows you to use it with Anthropic, and you can get into that mode by just adding another dash to the flag here. Once you do that, it will ask you for the API key. Just enter that. Now, once that's done, you can just ask it to do anything, and it can do that. So, let's just ask it to go to Google, search for a dog image, and download it to my computer. Okay, it's doing that now. Let's wait a bit. And it's done now. So, it did this pretty well, which is amazing. The new computer use API is really great for sure. I mean, it cannot yet be used for all tasks, but for some redundant tasks, it could be a lifesaver for some, which is amazing. One person pointed out in my comments that if we were able to record its steps once and just run those steps over and over, we could maybe easily automate manual tasks without spending a lot on tokens, which is a really great idea. I hope some of the repos implement this because it would be a game changer for automation in data entry and stuff like that. It works really well. Also, if you're thinking of using Open Interpreter in depth, I already have two videos on it. I'll link them in the description. Make sure you check that out as well. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below. Or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.